guys welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new here my name is Steph and I'd like to welcome you all to vlogmas day 12 today is the 12th holy crap okay we are truly at the midway point here now and honestly I'm so excited for today because today is the day we are going to the distillery district to the Christmas market. Yes, finally we're doing something Christmassy. I am so excited. I'm seeing my friends. I'm doing Christmas things. I finally am going back to my condo, albeit very briefly because obviously things here have been just so crazy, but oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to see my friends. I can't wait to um, celebrate with my best friend on passing the CFI exams. I'm so excited for her. Can't wait to see my other friend before she leaves to go home for the holidays. Can't wait to get Christmas content. I can't wait to just, oh, I can't wait. I am so excited. Um, that's pretty much like all that's on the schedule for today really i do need to go to the lcbo i'm picking up a bottle of champagne for my friend um as a like congratulations you passed let's celebrate that sort of stuff then i am heading into the city i'm going to go to my condo i've got to do like normal cleanup pack all that sort of stuff st those sorts of things i need to pick some things up from the condo to bring to boston uh, just like my shampoo and all of that sort of stuff that's there. It's smaller, so it's easier to take back and forth. I also need to register my vaccination status with my board, the condo board. They're requiring that to use all the amenities. And as I would like to use the gym at some point in the future, I've got to get that on record. Um, and then I need to uh, pick up any parcels, mail, take out all my recycling, clear out my fridge, clean, all that sort of stuff. So I also have to get groceries. But anyways, I'm just like so excited to go to Toronto. Uh, the last time I was in Toronto was when I was getting my chairs and I haven't been there since. I haven't really had a chance to live in my condo since I've gotten the last of my furniture pieces. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that's kind of everything. So I'm just excited. Today is really truly wholesome Christmas content day and I am looking forward to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please subscribe. We are halfway through Vlogmas. If you are enjoying Vlogmas, please subscribe. Um, and let's go to Toronto. Woo! All right, this is what I'm wearing into downtown. I'm wearing my Skims uh, cotton jersey long sleeve tee in the color rose, my Levi's high loose taper. Um, I'm just gonna wear them this weekend and then I'm gonna do a huge load of denim to wash and then we'll probably pull out my ankle D's or my denim forms to take to Boston with me but anyways this is what I'm wearing I'm also gonna throw on this on top this is my Lululemon like really fuzzy quarter zip Oh my God, she is back. Woo. I walked into my apartment and I was like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I love it here. I like had really bad anxiety on the train because I was like, oh my God, I like don't use my apartment. Like, what am I gonna do? All of this sort of stuff. Like, should I keep it? Should I, but I just furnished it. Like all of these things, right? And I walk in here and I'm like, you're gonna need to figure it out because I am obsessed with it. So anyways, um, it is about 
1.30. Um, I've got to leave for the distillery district pretty soon, but the first thing I'm gonna do is put away my uh, cloth that I was using to clean stuff with. Step one. But step two is I'm gonna make some matcha, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna make um, some matcha. I just got a text, so anyways, here we go. We're gonna make matcha, matcha, matcha. I'm stoked, oh, I have like, The, the apart, oh no, my milk has definitely gone bad. So we're not gonna be making matcha, JK. <laughs> okay, never mind. I have to go grocery shopping, right? Um, I'm gonna have a Perrier and have some regular water as well. When I tell you, like, I have not been here in so long, so, it's just a bit chaotic um, in the grand scheme of chaotic things. It's not, but like in terms of the fact, like I don't have milk, I don't have eggs, I don't have like some teas, I don't have like the ability to make a lot of things, but that's okay. We're not gonna stress about that. We're not gonna, not gonna stress. We're not gonna, nope, we're not. We're going to just write a to-do list, write a shopping list and hope that this dried AF tea thing comes out of the bottom of my mug because I left that there for some reason. No idea why I thought that was a good idea. Anyways, okay, so um, I need to get ready first. I think the very first thing I need to do is get ready because once I'm ready, I can leave. So hold please while I change. Okay, so uh, I'm changed. I'm just wearing the same like long sleeve that I was wearing. And then I've put on this like cable knit uh, sweater in cream. This is from uh, the group by Babbitton by Aritzia. I also have like a light cream one. And then I'm gonna wear, actually I was gonna wear a leather skirt, but I decided leather shorts are the move and they kind of give a very similar look. Then I'm wearing Gucci tights. I'll show you the full outfit in my mirror, but I am in here because we are getting started on the hair. Uh, this morning, as you guys probably noticed, actually, I don't know if I filmed it even, um, but I washed my hair this morning and then I rough dried it. So my hair is kind of in its like so sort of natural texture. It's not really like, 100% my natural texture because my it has a little bit more like wave at the back here when it dries on its own but anyways we are going to get started on doing my hair I left my hair natural because I am going to curl it so I thought there was no point blowing it out um so I'm gonna first curl it and I while it's heating up I realize I could just like multitask and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear um, my headband or the bow, the hair bow. So we're gonna we're gonna try both. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what I like better. Um, I just wanted to do something with my hair, and then I'm gonna wear this scarf, which is a old Wilfred scarf, but it's one of their blanket scarves, and my fuzzy Sherpa Ghana jacket for that leg warm fuzzy look i think i'm gonna be cold it's beautiful and sunny outside but it is only four degrees so we're um we're going to be struggling a little bit also while waiting for my no i'm gonna do my hair first i want to take a photo i want to take a photo here with this lighting right now and so i'm just gonna finish my like hair and makeup take the photos and then leave but yeah, like I definitely cut this a bit close in terms of all of time and all of that sort of stuff. And then, yeah, um, anyways, we're going to just. Uh, 
I don't even know. Okay, plans are changing. But anyways, I'm gonna first curl my hair. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna curl my hair. I'm gonna stop like rambling. I can't even think for some reason. I honestly have had just like the worst brain fog this whole vlog mess. I don't know what it is, but I'm genuinely like, can't really get my thoughts together all the time and stuff. And it's not because I don't know what I want to say. Maybe it's just, I don't know like how I want to say what I want to say. Um, but I've been like having a really hard time with it. And I honestly also want to contribute it to the fact that I haven't had very much social interaction outside of my family recently. And so I haven't had to think about how to phrase things to like other people who don't know me very well. But yeah, I'm just like totally lost in my own brain haze. So I'm gonna curl my hair, as you can see. How I do this is I take a piece, I like wrap it around the barrel, and then I work the barrel down the hair, and then I kind of curl it up in a very similar way to actually how I blow out my hair. And then I just drop the top section if it's a bit longer and I need to feed more hair in. Um, so I'm gonna do this first, get everything curled and have some shape and body. Then I'll go through and kind of see if I need to uh, retouch anything or make anything uh, tighter or more ringlety, anything like that. I'm probably not gonna go for ringlets today uh, just because of the amount of time I have and it's gonna fall out anyway, so I might as well just have like my normal looser waves. But we'll see. I also didn't bring any of my clips or anything to section off my hair. Uh, so we're really just pulling pieces as we go, hoping that everything is looking okay. I'm not really sure. Um, there will definitely need to be some of like the shorter pieces that I need to recurl, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. When it comes to the front, um, I'm going to take this section first, which is a little bit thinner. Uh, not because I wanted it to be thinner. It just worked out that way. So we're going to do that first. And then this top section I'm splitting into two, the back and the slightly longer stuff. And all I'm gonna do is just start the curl a little bit further down, pull it out, and then clip the rest in. And then with this one, I'm gonna just try and start in a very similar spot and twist and roll my hair in. I don't know if this is making sense. Is this making sense? I don't know. Okay, here is this side of my hair done. So now I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side and we're going to speed through this in the editing <laughs> uh we are done with that while the side like cools and kind of sets i'm just gonna run my fingers through and see if there's anything that I like want to fix, want to recurl. It actually turned out okay. Um, they're not like curly curls. They're like more like wavy curls. I don't know. My hair doesn't really like ringlet curl um, too easily. So I kind of get these more like, I don't know. It's just like, cause my hair falls like pretty quickly. So anyways, this is what my hair looks like without anything in it. Okay, and now we're going to determine if I wanna pull it like into a, a clip, which is what my initial plan was. And I honestly kind of liked that plan. I thought that it was really festive. Or I could wear a headband, but I genuinely feel like the clip might be the move. Especially with how my hair like Right okay, hold please while I grab the clip. All right, let's put the clip in more like these. As much as I like how it looks, I honestly just, <laughs> there's so much hair. So we're gonna have to, we, we gotta cut our losses. We gotta cut the amount of hair down. 
here. Here. What this looks like. It's a lot of fiddle farting around. This is the hair, super cute, super festive feeling. This is like as festive for me. I really want to get a red bow, um, but I just like don't have time, don't have time. Uh, in terms of, there's not enough time between when I like order it and like when I need it again. So I might just order it like, in uh, New Year preparations vibes. Okay, I'm putting a little bit of uh, dry texturizing spray like all throughout my hair. This just helps it hold, but then I'm also putting it like around where the clip is to give the clip like a little bit more grip. My hair is, um, like I said, like kind of medium fine. So it's a little bit more like slippery um, sort of texture. We need to also fix the bow apparently. Cool, cool, cool. Love this. All right. Here we go. So that's the hair. Now on to makeup. Oh my God, the sunshine is glorious. Okay, I gotta put my hair behind my ears because sis has got to get ready. So I'm gonna get ready. I'm actually gonna do, I think like pretty, pretty similar makeup to yesterday. I honestly might have to move. The sun is right in my eyes. So if I actually packed everything I needed, um, we're gonna try and do something similar to yesterday, but I don't know. Okay. Starting off with the Tula Brightening Up Smoothing primer gel i don't know if you guys like do you want me to like talk through my makeup doing all the time or are you absolutely sick of hearing me talking to you i don't know let me know um <laughs> anyways i'm gonna smooth this on i'm using like a decent amount of this only because I love how it feels, but also I really do find that this is such a great base for my makeup. I love it so much. Okay. Yeah, we're getting sweaty. We are getting sweaty. Then I'm going to go in with the Waso Shiseido. Uh, this is the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 30. I'm going to start... I use like kind of a generous amount on days like today. One, I'm going to be shooting, but two, look at this glorious sunshine. Oh, I am so in love. I'm happy, a happy camper. Um, so I just like lather it up. I want a little bit more coverage from people seeing my acne, which is thankfully healed. Um, down flat at least. Um, we're still dealing with some of the hyperpigmentation, but that's okay. A little bit of retinol, a little bit of moisturizer, some water, some good skincare. Well, hopefully uh, get those to lighten up a little bit over the next few months. If not, maybe a laser treatment, we'll see, but I'm okay with it. I'm just working on being comfortable in my skin and who I am as a person. A couple acne scars don't mean I'm not worth what I want to be worth. Ugh. Guys, if I could write a, uh, a inspirational podcast about how your acne doesn't define you as a person, I would, but I honestly think that that's overdone and it's very difficult and it's very personal. So we're not gonna be doing that, but just know that your acne does not define you as a person. 
everybody gets acne it's totally okay it's totally normal you're all good okay let's just we're gonna look at my skin make sure i did the right job blending it in i didn't spoiler alert okay i brought the merit stick just in case i felt like i needed more coverage but i honestly feel like my skin today has really pulled through for me so we're gonna we're gonna say thank you take the blessing and move on okay so we're gonna start with the charlotte tilbury uh air blur air brush flawless finish powder this is in the shade fair medium two medium two um Given the fact that it is winter, I could probably go up or go lighter a shade just because my face is starting to get a little bit on the um, l like lighter pinky tone. Uh, when I'm a little bit darker, I find I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit more yellow. And then when I am a little bit lighter, I find I lean a slightly pinkier. I have quite neutral undertones, but definitely the british genetics come out in the winter and the uh chinese southeast asian genetics come out in the summer so we're gonna just take my bronzer like i always do this lighting is making me look better than i am so don't let this fool you i have skin problems i have hyperpigmentation i have pores all part of just who I am as a person. Um, the other thing it's making me do, I think, is put on far too much color on my cheeks, but we're going to ignore that and ignore the, um, the feminine urge to just keep going. So anyways, here we go. We're gonna brush on a little bit of the Tarte Party blush with like three or four A's, putting you on. I'm just double checking. I think I honestly didn't bring a lip color that I was thinking about wearing, but that's okay. Cause I have a different one, which is more comfortable to wear anyways, to be completely fair. Okay. Then a little bit of Becca Champagne Pop. Like I've mentioned before, you guys can now get this via Smashbox. Just a little bit on the inner corners. So that's perfect. It's not gone forever. Thank goodness. Didn't need to like panic buy 50 of these and then have them all expire at the same time. We are then brushing through my brows. This is the Hourglass um, Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I'm not gonna recommend this product to you guys because they're very problematic. I bought this before I was aware of them being problematic. So I'm just gonna use it up, but I also don't wanna like tell you guys that I'm using something that I'm not. I think that that's like also very problematic in and of itself. I feel like that's a huge misrep because if you're expecting something to look a certain way, but then I'm using a different product, you're obviously not gonna get exact results. So uh, I'm just, I'm not recommending you buy it because I think the brand overall needs to do better in just catering to more people. Because honestly, at this point, it's so easy to do in the makeup community. It's very accessible. Did I forget my eyelash curler? Ooh, it says forgot her eyelash curler. Oh, okay. Well, that's a problem. <sighs> All right. Well, <clears throat> struggle bus, struggle bus, struggle bus. Okay, moving on to the eyes. Um, I'm starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Pillow Talk. Oh, so Charlotte Tilbury could uh, expand her shade range, but I got sent a whole bunch of stuff and I honestly find her products so glorious. I am conflicted on the inside. But anyways, we're starting off with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Stick. This is in Pillow Talk. Uh, pretty much everything today is gonna be Pillow Talk on the eyes. I'm just gonna use this as a base for the makeup, or the eye makeup at least, and kind of sketch out sort of the shape that I'm looking to get. 
the reason I'm doing this is I find that Charlotte Tilbury shades are beautiful but don't necessarily always pack a huge punch in terms of pop um, if you're not like in direct sunshine or underneath studio lights therefore today when I'm going to go take holiday photos we're wanting to pack a pop I'm just gonna like lightly pat this in with my finger just to kind of tamp it down the stickiness a little bit I'm then going to take this fluffy brush from the Sephora collection and take this beautiful shimmery shade right here I'm gonna pat that on the inner like third of my eye effectively and like lightly feather out the edges this is what is going to create that like really beautiful glowy pink multi-dimensional color story that i want on the eyes it's been 10 minutes since i haven't responded to my friends about planning already that's that's good that's good okay next i'm going to take this like uh, this is a Morphe R35 and I'm going to take this shade here in the corner and this is going to what's this is going to be what darkens up my crease and my shadow so we're just going to first feather out the top uh, harsh line that was created from the stick and then I'm going to work it and draw it back and then we're going to take more on my brush and pack it right into the edge of my eye and then also sweep that up and out in a, like a V sort of situation. Okay, now same on the other side. Starting again, packing it into my crease and just using that to feather out the outside corner of where the uh stick shadow went the cream shadow then taking a bit more and using it to just deepen out the outer third of my eye i'm gonna make sure the eyes are even and then on a flat shader brush i'm just going to take this same shade and run it a little bit underneath my eye and out underneath and out this like really like makes the eyes pop in my opinion right and then the last thing is taking the pillow talk eyeliner and i'm just gonna draw a wing first i'm gonna smudge this along the lash line to deepen it up and then we're drawing out the wing Sorry, I had to like get out of the sun to like really make sure that this was working out. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit under my eye. Just to deepen up the outer corners. All right. And then I'm going to move on to mascara, Pillow Talk push-up mascara. It's going to be so weird because I don't have my lashes curled and I have such straight lashes, guys. It's insane. Oh, I need to get out of the sun. I think. Um, I totally forgot to spray my face down, that's fine. Uh, if I had remembered, I would have sprayed my face with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish, but here we go. Here is the finished makeup look. And now I'm gonna take a couple. Okay, hello, so this is what I'm wearing. This is a group by Babbitton uh, illustrator sweater. I'm wearing the same long sleeve underneath. I'm wearing a pair of labyrinth shorts. Like I said, I was going to wear 
a skirt but then i decided the shorts would be better um just more comfortable more maneuverability and then my gucci tights and i'm gonna wear my like knee high aloha sandals and then i have this bow in my hair so cute anyways this is the look we off to go meet aaron okay here is the finished look i actually kind of love it so anyways off to go meet my friends Hey guys, okay, so everybody has left, um, everybody being like my two friends, but it was so lovely, just like good times, good vibes, Christmas spirit. Uh, we just came home and actually we came here like pretty early. Um, we left the market around six o'clock and kind of got here around like 6.20ish, I think. And then we went to Farm Boy, got snacks, got some more tea because I needed more decaf tea options. And uh, we just ha like watched the Sex and the City episodes because I hadn't seen that yet. And then just like talked and hung out and like really like got a chance to catch up, reconnect. You know, like when you haven't seen your friends for a while, there's just like so much to get through. So we did that. It was really good. Had some really good life chats. I feel like we've been getting into those like more and like it's been just so nice, so great, like it's really cathartic. And yeah, um, I've now just been editing the vlog and I don't think I'm going to show you guys anything else of the night because I'm going to be really boring and watch Netflix. It's already uh, 11 something here. so. I'm gonna take off my makeup and like wind down from like all the social interaction and uh you guys really don't need to see that right now if you do want to see it let me know but it's like real boring i have some photos to edit from today but i am going to sign off i want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me on vlogmas i cannot believe we are at that midway point um I've really enjoyed this like I have genuinely enjoyed it I don't know why but like I know I have such a small audience right now but I feel like those of you who have like watched this and who also like watch my regular videos you've gotten such like a to see such a different side of me and like I don't know it's just like really like been such a mood booster so I've really enjoyed this I hope you guys are enjoying this as well and I can't wait to see you guys for Vlogmas Day 13.